What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata and today, or tonight I should say, we are doing hard light portraits. All right, everybody, so we are gonna do some hard light portraits. Some will be beauty, some won't, but a beauty portrait, we all know, is gonna be more about the face and the beauty, but we're gonna do a little bit more than that. We're getting out on a ledge. She likes to be on ledges. Tonight, she's safe. Everybody relax, she's safe and sound. All right, but we got some cool stuff. So we are using, and you're seeing this hard light come up here, the Forza 150B. That allows me to control color temperature. So I can go from 2700 up into the 6000s, not 100% sure, I don't wanna give you the wrong number. The point is, I can go from daylight balance to tungsten to really control the mood. And so what we've done there, I'm gonna walk you through this so you understand, because these pictures are gonna look phenomenal, is we are firing that light through the railing to create that pattern that you're seeing on the wall. Why? Because it's kind of a boring, hallway. This isn't very interesting and I wanted to add a little bit of texture and dimension and I'm using that light bare bulb and it's firing back into the wall but now we need some light on violet. And so on camera what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Manlight Forza 60B along with the projector mount. So this is basically like a gobo. So they've got attachments you can put in but for this we're going bare bulb very focused light to create a circle and you can't see here because I'm in par lighting but this snaps right in and we can turn it on and you're going to see right behind me on this Wall, it's gonna be firing a pattern when I move the blades out of the way, we'll get a perfect circle, and then I can adjust the focus to get a sharper edge or not. So we want a sharp edge on that circle, and that is gonna be what we're using to light violet. This particular light is set at 2700. My camera is set at 2700, so you need to understand how different light color temperatures are gonna change what's going on. I want all the shadows in the surrounding of violet to be blue, and that's why that is set at 5500, and these are set at 2700. So let's stop talking about it, let's do it. These are hard light portraits. So not everything has to be soft beauty light. You can get some really killer stuff using hard light. Let's get to it. You wanna get that sharp, see that? Right about there, beautiful. Right there, you're cutting her head off. So slide it out just a little bit more. Violet, you're perfect right there, here we go. And so what I'm doing compositionally is using the kind of light as a little bit of a crescent on the circle. And I'm using the railing and everything else leading lines. And what I like on this is I can even see shadows behind her and they're cool, they're blue shadows behind her. So that's kind of interesting. And then if I zoom in here, there you go. Beautiful Violet, looking away, there you go. I wanna see more of your full body, Violet. So I'm getting, there we go, there we go. Love this. Yep, let that other hand come on your wrist. Now, it was better underneath. Yeah, I like that. Beautiful Violet right there. Good light, looking away, chin down. Beautiful, yes, love that Violet. Arch that back if you're gonna go that way. Yep, love that too, love that, love that. Ooh, I like this angle too. Now I'm actually seeing more of her shadow behind her. So this. Awesome. Okay, and I'm gonna keep moving, working with, and now I can, I'm looking, I'm just looking and I see her shadow of her legs. So that's kind of interesting looking. Can you spread your stance a little bit more? Hang tight for me, Violet. There you go. Let me come here. Yep, I like this a lot. Stay, hold that pose. Hang tight, Violet. Beautiful. Square up to me now. There you go, right there. Beautiful. Love this, Violet. Stay there with it. And now I can zoom in, and I'm really digging this pattern on the wall. Love this, Violet, right there. Using a Canon R5 and a 7200 lens. The reason I chose 7200 is just compression, right? So I don't want to see all the detail in here that the natural eye is seeing. I want to really compress it and focus on her. It's not a traditional beauty portrait where you're super tight, maybe more bust, because I do want to see that pattern on the wall. That's the key, right? So if I zoom in too tight, it just looks like really, really hard light. Nothing wrong with that, but then I'm losing the environment that I'm creating by changing the color of light and creating that circle around her. I really think those geometrical elements, the circle and the lines from the rail really, really make this super interesting. I'm gonna try one more thing, but hopefully you're enjoying what you're seeing. Wait, I got a weird shadow on your chin. Turn right. Yeah, that's where kind of I need you. Chin down. Love that, Violet. Beautiful, gorgeous. Chin down, eyes at camera. This is very, very sci-fi. Gorgeous. Gotta hold it on that eye, Felicia. See how it's not staying on her body front? It's going to the right. You hold that pose. There you go. You go do that pose. I need it coming down that front. There you go. Right there. Let me nail this. There we go. Need that eye. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. Hard light portraits, as you saw, just those two lights were able to really create some texture in this hallway and make the image super, super interesting. Again, unique is what gets your clients excited. It's what gets you excited as an artist and really helps you elevate your work to that next level. We'll see you in the next video.